All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to set up the cadence environment to use the newest technology for 22 nanometer FDX SOI at Virginia Tech University. First, we're going to create a new directory to store all of our files. Here I've made a directory under my home directory called projects slash 22 FDX. Next, I'm going to copy some setup files. The first one is from slash home slash JS walling slash projects slash dot CDS init. And I'm going to put this in the new directory that I just created. I'm also going to copy display.drf from that 22 nanometer folder. I realized I grabbed the wrong copy of .cds init. So I'm gonna fix that. And finally, I'm going to get a file called cds.env. And I'm also going to copy cds dot lib okay I'm now going to change directory to that projects directory that I just created for 22 nanometer FDX projects slash 22 FDX And I'm going to source slash software slash RFIC slash had tools slash cadence slash setups slash setup cadence dash 22 nanometer or 22 FDX. Okay. Now, if this works, you should get similar messages in the terminal that you see here. It should tell you that it's running the setup from mix RFIC. It should tell you the version of cadence that it's running, and it should say it works at the end. And if it does, things are working in the background. What should be happening right now is that it's going to load cadence, load all the environment variables, for the particular versions of Cadence that we need. And it's going to load the library files for the 22 nanometer FDX process. Once it does, it will launch uh, Cadence Virtuoso. This launches with a new IC Advanced tool, IC ADVM. And you can see that it's launching right now. If everything goes well, you should be able to launch the library manager. But first, I'm going to change an option in the menu. I'm going to go to Options, User Preferences, and click on this Options Displayed When Commands Start. That's a useful one. Now I'm going to go to Tools, Library Manager, and I should see my library manager. Now I'm going to create a new library for a tape out that we'll be doing in the spring of 2023. I'm going to attach to an existing technology library.
I realized that I uh, didn't have permission for the path uh, that I was in and my uh, education folder. Uh, those that have asked for access to 22 nanometer uh, FDX at uh, Virginia Tech will be granted access, but they have to go through that process first. Uh, I just went through the process of requesting uh, that access. Uh, so now uh, I have the uh, ability to attach to an existing uh, technology library. I'm going to attach to the CMOS 22 FDSOI library. And click OK. Now, if things go well, the new library that I just created should exist. Uh, we should have a tape out spring 2023 library. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a schematic uh, and then a subsequent layout for a simple cell. We'll do a small CMOS inverter. Uh, and then we'll go through all of the design verification and simulation setup. Uh, and uh, though your designs may be more complicated, uh, this will be a general setup that can be used for uh, each individual design. Uh, and we'll do some more example videos as we uh, grow towards a tape out at Virginia Tech. With that, I'd like to stop for now. In the next video, we will do the schematic for a CMOS inverter.